Greetings everyone, Nacology here. Excuse the mess. I've got about four or five, maybe six different projects going on at the same time right now. Uh, a couple with my son and uh, it's hard to keep things organized whenever there's so much going on. Um, but this is one of my individual projects that I've been wanting to do and I've been wanting to do something to put it on the channel. And so I've already done a piece of the upgrade, but what, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through what I did to get to where I'm at and then pick up from there. And what we're going to do is we'll review um, the installation of the GameCube loader, the GC loader that uh, allows you to rip all of your ROMs, all of your GameCube games to uh, ISO file and load them onto an SD card and then you can have all of your games in one spot and so a that you're not using the disk drive that's eventually going to wear down b you're not taking your physical media in and out of the cases unless you have to and c it's just easier and it still allows you to enjoy uh your your awesome little gamecube and all the games that come with it and uh, these these systems are actually they're pretty cool um and they they are upgradable like others, unlike some others. Um, and even though it's a little pricey, you can get an HDMI adapter for this that uh, is okay for about 80 bucks. You can get cheaper ones, even cheaper than that. And if they're good for you, then roll on. Uh, the best one's the Eon adapter. It's 150 and it plugs into both the analog and the digital ports on the back and it can give you full... Um, clean HDMI signal that looks almost as good if not as good as a board mod to tap into the the digital signal coming out of the board so this this box has a very good solution for um, being able to upgrade it to a modern display and it's much easier than a lot of the other systems that um, it, they don't make it so easy so especially when you're talking about a system that's 20 years old so here we are and what we're going to do is like i said we're going to review the uh, gc loader and how we got to that point and then we're also going to install um, the uh, uh, what was this called yes the sd extender i guess is what it's called but you put it in and it basically fills up this hole that is left because the dvd drive is or the the, the gamecube drive is not there anymore and it fills it in so that you don't have a big gaping hole here and it moves your sd card up to right here and um, makes it easier to access and you can order these also with slots i didn't order it with the slots but you can also order them with storage slots to uh, keep your extra sd cards if you if you've got several so it's, it's a it's a it's a pretty good little piece and i'm over here holding it not even in front of the of the camera it's a pretty good piece and the uh wasn't too expensive i mean i think it was 15 bucks so it's a pretty good little add-on and you can 3d print these yourself too if you don't want to um buy them so pretty cool and we're going to also do a fan upgrade uh, from the same site uh, it's laserbear.net and the only thing i have to complain about for a side note is that i didn't get any mounting hardware so, I, I mean, maybe I don't need it, but I mean, yeah. So anyway, and I can see where it mounts on the board. So, I mean, maybe I can use the original uh, drive screws. Who knows? This is a new fan shroud. When we get in there, you're going to see that uh, the, the fan, fan shroud has stuff attached to it and... Uh, it doesn't just just doesn't sit by itself, and so A is to put it be able to attach a new fan, specifically this fan, um, the XS1 or the XS2. Um, I'm trying to remember why I bought the XS1, and I think it was because it had a greater airflow. And I think this XS2 is just quieter, and I I don't need 
that quiet or maybe it wasn't any quieter i don't really remember why but i bought the xs1 and um yeah i'm trying to remember now i don't remember why i bought it but i can tell you that i looked at the two options and i decided to go with the xs1 and it's a this this shroud is made specifically for this fan to put this to replace the stock fan with this fan that's got a greater airflow uh, capacity and it's quieter so we're going to make we're going to do these mods while we're at it and i got me a little sd card adapter for the memory card slot and it's for this is for a wii or a gamecube so that's just i wanted to get it so let's get started um i've got a gamecube uh or game boy adapter for the gamecube so i'm going to need to get through it first at some point i'm gonna do a I tear down on this too um just because um these are cool little devices and look into the guts of this but i haven't done it yet i was actually happy to get one and i got it for free to boot so but they bolt in literally straight to the bottom And now that comes out and that's it and it plugs into one of the serial ports down here on the bottom of the gamecube so um that should help a little bit yeah but plugs into one, this serial port right here so anyway once we get in here uh these take uh game bit drivers i'm pretty sure and so these you're just going to have to have um any any you can get them off amazon a ton of different places but um is there something else i don't have i think it's that extension i need because i don't think this will reach all the way in there i think i got better or will it no, it will um but the game bit adapter is something nintendo used for years and years and years and i don't think any other system used them but going all the way back to the original game boy we're talking used uh, game bed adapters and um, basically it's a i don't know if you can see uh, it's way too far away and there's no light so basically it uh it's just a it grips around the edges of the screw versus in the middle um, but it grips around the edge of the screw similar to way a, a Torx bit grips in the center. And so it's got little little ridges around the outside instead of like a flat surface like a, a hex head or something would have on the outside. So um, I believe we should have four screws fall out. We had two. It was the two from the front the two in the back haven't fell out yet uh, but what they should do is i mean literally they should fall straight out they're not going to stay in there because the gamecube is really 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 easy to uh, operate on there you go there it is so you slip it over and then it slides right off how about that so this is where um anyway the hex says uh, the game bit driver you can order them off amazon you can order them off a, ho a whole bunch of different places and um, they're they're good to have because any old systems you're working on especially nintendo systems you're going to need them so here we are at the gc loader and basically what happens is when you get in here this is sitting just like this just like that okay and it's got um just a few screws around the outside that uh you have to screw into and get out 
and and it's got excuse me it's also got a plate sitting here and the plate is what's got the screws in it and so you unscrew the the plate and the, this lifts off with the plate and then you flip it over and this is where I've unscrewed the plate from the bottom of it and this is it. it's literally just a few screws you can't miss them because the plate sits just like this and they're they're regular Phillips screws that you just just like with these screws right here and you unscrew them and this with the plate on the bottom lifts off and I thought I had the plate up here and I don't um, and then all I've done is take and unscrew the plate from the bottom of this so that this this was smaller so I could fit it in a in a box and save it because I I don't want to destroy it and um, that's basically it um, and with this we're already down to where the fans at and so you can see the fan right there so I mean the, the, the GameCube is a very very easy system to work on um, and there's there's the fan right and so you're going to see real quick what we're going to do with it and uh, see these fold out this folds out and comes apart but I don't want to do that because it's got that connector on it so here we are and we don't even have to uh, mess with this but if we did basically what you do from here I've already done this taking it apart and while I was in there I took the uh, heat sink off the processor cleaned all the old thermal paste off of it put new thermal paste on it screwed it back down it's literally just screws in the middle of a heat sink it's super simple and then you screw this in from um, the bottom and so far this design is way better than the GDMU GDEMU that you get for the Dreamcast it operates very similarly and basically there's a plug right here that you just you plug it into screw it in and um, end of the day that's it it's 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 very simple so that's what I did to get here so here we are now with the fan now remember we've got our our new fan and our new uh, shroud for that fan so you can see right here where this sits and where it's going to what it's going to replace so first thing is we've got two screws here that we've got to take out to uh, get to the uh, where we can start lifting this up off the board da -da -da -da. what I got and I hope this screw this Phillips head is big enough hope it's not And the reason you'd want to do this mod is even though this little um, fan is small, it does make a good bit of racket. And like most things, when they're designing these systems, you know, they're not designing them. The, the, I don't want to say a company goes and, and designs something and doesn't care at how long it's going to last, but they don't have... You know they're 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 guessing it how long it's going to how, how long the, the system is going to have last before somebody destroys it i mean they're, they're assuming a whole bunch of stuff and so they try to make these bets on you know how much money do we need to put into the cooling or how much money do we need to put in x y or z before something else is going to break and it's the, the, it's going to be moot anyway and um like I said, I'm not going to assume or even make a pronouncement that, um, oh, so this is for this. There we go. So we're good. So you see two little screws or two little jumpers that pop off. And then all we have to do now is replace, move this board with all of its little accoutrements over. Because see, this is where the power comes into the back. How about that, huh? and uh, we're going to, have to move all the accoutrements over and i'm going to do that before i install the new fan so 
move this right there and I tell you what these things are just killing me with these I bought I brought tri heads so I thought it needed a tri head and it doesn't And that's it. So we've got a new screw that's put right here. So we need to unscrew this on this one. Let that sit right there. And then what we'll do is we'll use the new screw just in case it needs, just in case the thread size is different or thread counts different or the size is different or something. But that one looks a lot longer. Hmm. Slide this back in. It looks like it slides. Like you put it here and pull it back is what it looks like. All right. So then we're going to make sure it's all the way back in flush. Some good uh, proofing on this thing right here because the hole lines up right where it needs to and if you've done any of, the, any of these with these kind of aftermarket parts you're going to know that is a seriously hit or miss proposition sometimes it works great and sometimes it is just way off okay so there we go there's that All right, I can hear screws and stuff in here so let's move that right there and this if you wonder this is a 50 by 10 or this is 50 by 50 but yeah Basically, it's 50 millimeters square and then 10 millimeters deep. There's some screws. They don't want this thing to come out of here, do they? And there we go. Pretty little fan, ultra quiet, noise blocker, blah, blah, blah. The blades are positioned differently. The stock fan blades are slanted back this way. And here it's slanted back this way. So to get the same airflow pattern, it needs to be flipped. So that's fine. So this is the way it goes. We'll put that right there. That goes in there. And... I'm going to assume by the size of these it comes with four screws and the remainder of it didn't come with anything so I'm going to assume this is supposed to get screwed in from the back way those holes are so wide I'm pretty sure that's how it's supposed to be so world is not made for people with fat fingers all right so I'm assume this is how we're supposed to go be correct so let's do that so it lays flat I don't want to over tighten because I have a bad habit of doing that a very bad habit of doing that and Modern plastics just aren't meant to take that kind of. All right, so there we go. Goes in just like that. Looks like the connections are the same. So this, so it could come with extra screws. Isn't that nice? Hmm. So yeah, looks like this can. 
come up and around maybe and go over so we'll remount this thing back in here first and let's see what it what it looks like See, if you'll see, it slots right in there because it's got to make room for these three screws right here. These three screws stay in and only come out if you take this plate off. So, it slots in actually perfectly. Like perfectly. So, you can see how, yeah, y'all got to come out. You can see how this works. So, you basically, you mount the, the instructions that come with it, tell you exactly where to mount it. And then when you kind of get, it's kind of self-explanatory because obviously it only goes one way. And then it goes straight into that slot. I should probably turn you sideways. So, it goes straight in. There's, there's no there's no way to not do it that way so you don't even need the instructions really you can just screw it in the in the in the spot and go from there and then even on the diagrams that you've got it shows you know these fins that where they are in relation to I mean it's it's impossible to mess up for anybody paying any attention so you push it down all you got to do is just kind of feel out for where it's at so that you don't mess that slot up and then when it's there you go and then of course uh, putting it down uh, you've got three screws they give you and then you're done so and uh, like I said earlier about the heat sink <clears throat> the heat sink literally six screws Phillips head unscrew them work it a little bit get it off because that that thermal compound is going to be caked in there and dry and uh, you take it out, you just wiggle it until you get it to come off, get it off, get some alcohol, paper towel, q tips until you get all, get it all off of the heat sink and all off of the processor. It's the processor and GPU are both here. And then when you get that, you make sure oh, processor GPU and two sticks of RAM, I'm pretty sure. So it's, it's four thermal pads is what it was, and they are long past degraded. So this is a necessity. The well, first thing you do when you get a switch is I, once you make sure it's working, is I would start working towards at the very least redoing the paste here so that um, you're not overheating your system. And so that's what you do. And then there you are. And um, put it on there. Just make sure you just set it down nice and easy and then screw it back down and you're done. Um, so there we are. And uh, we don't need this right now, but we do need this because we're going to have to attach the uh, CD thing. So, um, yeah, it's got to go in these screws. So I'm a, I don't know if, 
I don't remember if they made the fan makers knew that this was going to be a thing that people did together and so they included the extra screws on purpose because this the um, this didn't come with any screws it doesn't have any screwed in in any particular spot or So we either gonna have to find some or um, let's put you here. Got a bag of screws here. I wonder if these little if those are too big. I don't think so. They're not too big for that hole either. Let's see. I don't remember what these go to. Let's hope I don't need them. That would be unfortunate. I think. I think these would, would uh would do nicely. So we'll uh we need to. Before we do anything we need to make sure we got this thing situated because once it's down that's it so all right that's firmly in place Pulled up in there nicely. I don't know if you can see that, but that's up in there. All right, so then we'll just flip it over and try to there's a screw. All right, they line up pretty well. I just hope this ain't too much. I wonder if I should use those smaller ones. They just don't seem like they're big enough to grab the grip and but they would allow more movement if it needed to shift a little. Well, let's try it. Let's see if we need to go with a smaller. line one up. I'll try to line one up. Fat fingers. This is why you know, I was wanting to use those big screws so this wouldn't happen. It's got a little bite, okay, that's good. All right, so let's find the other one. I really hope I don't need these screws for anything. There we go. Come on, don't let go. This 
they got a decent amount of bite, so that's good. Oh, it's four screws. There's another hole. Huh. Well, good thing I got three screws like that, so. And you can order these um, colored to your system, or color matched to your system. <clears throat> um, from that laserbear, laserbear.net, I'll leave a leave a link to these guys in the description because overall I mean I, I thought their site was easy to use I thought everything was um, uh, everything was great um, they didn't have everything cluttered together okay well am I getting I don't know, it's starting to bite a little bit more that's what it is Um, but they didn't have the site cluttered together, and they didn't have, I mean, it wasn't like a whole bunch of, you know, just gibberish and 35,000 options, and they would, they suggested this goes with this. And, I mean, I was, I was, I thought the site was great. Um, especially being that this mod I have never done before, and uh, I never had a GameCube when it was out originally. It's only now that I've gotten older and, um, you know, appreciate the older systems and and uh, want my children to experience, you know, some of the games that I didn't have, but my friends had when I would go to their house, you know. So, that's that. That's, uh, that hurt. That's, uh, I can still just get in there to make sure that's, and that's how that goes. And so then whenever... And I remember correctly, it's a clicky. And there we go. That doesn't look half bad, I don't think. And I just thought this, I just, this was the only one I think that, other than this one in orange, that wasn't black ordered. So I thought this would go better with silver than orange. So, there we go. Even though I am from South Carolina, and Clemson is a big deal around here, um, but yeah, it's not a big deal to me. So, there we go, and uh, like I said, that's done, and you can see where, you know, the fan, the fan sits here and pulls air across the heat sink and out, out the system. So, it's a very simple design for sure, and then, every, you know, everything else is up under the, up under the board. All right, so, let's... Uh, Let's set it down.
All right, so now we're getting close to the moment of truth. We've finally gotten back to where we were in the beginning. All right, so that fits over. I'm just happy. It's one thing to manufacture a product that, that fits, you know, that fits enough. It's another thing to manufacture a product that when it fits, it gives no give whatsoever. So that it's in the perfect spot. I mean that's 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 a good that's a good product that's good manufacturing i'm just impressed I've, and i guess just because i've seen so many crappy third party or you know crappy things that you get from somebody who's got a good idea and a 3d printer and just destroys it with the implementation you know so far if this fits as well as this does over in, in that hole, it's it's it, this is going to be an impressive little set. Oh, um, there we go. I think I left my blue. I left my blue mini zip tie some on another workbench, so I guess it's yellow this time. Right, so looking over. Don't want to bend that too much, so I'll wrap it around Let's put that in Go. All right, that's in, that's in. Okay, let's put the back panel back on. All right. it mounts right back up where it's supposed to, so that's not a concern. Pre, the 3D printer is right on point. All right, so.
Well, I would say that's a uh, that's pretty good. Yeah. It's a pretty good fit. Not perfect, but I mean there's a little air around the sides, but that may have been there to preserve the um, the original gaps. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's a little gap around the edge. So that, that was there on that probably with the precision we've seen with everything else, it's probably there on purpose to preserve airflow integrity of the case because you know they're designed to have a certain amount of breathe and you know. Of whatever and so I would say it's as, as close as everything is, is on point excuse me as, as on point as everything has been as far as uh, in the engineering thus far I would say that's perfectly intentional so and it's no further apart than uh, what the case in the the the, the, the Nintendo the GameCube with the CD drive in it. Finishing touch. Haha. <laughs> How about them apples? That looks nice. Looks that's very cool. It's a very nice. All right, so I've got my uh, adapters here. I don't have a component cable and I don't have uh, an Eon adapter on me, but I've got the component cables that um, I'm gonna hook it into the computer and into my capture card and uh, we'll see if we can get anything off of it. And, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it boots up. So. All right, so uh, looks like everything's working. The uh, fan is whisper silent, and um, this has got. It's like the GC loader is working great, so the expansion extension worked just perfectly. Uh, the GC loader doesn't have software by itself. It's got um, you have to put. A program called Swiss on it and uh, I, I just haven't spent enough time with it I think but every time I've updated the GC, GC loader to the latest firmware version but it still pops up every time so I have to clear through it so anyway here you go um, basically what it does is it interrupts the boot process oh, I forgot to put the Game Boy back on it oh well um, it interrupts the boot process and um, basically makes it think it's got a disc in it from what I can tell and this is it basically sits in between and then you run games uh, directly off of the um, the, the um, SD card so you can go one by one or you can do you know page at the time and uh it's it's just really awesome uh you can take all your discs and using free windows software that you can or free computer software you can get for windows or mac 
rip your discs completely legally that you own to your um, um, hard drive. Put the ISOs on the SD card and then GC loader sees them. And you can, and the cool thing about GC loader compared to some of the other ones is if I wanted to, I could go in here and organize by folder and it would, it would see it. Some of the other ones, especially some of the knockoffs, they, they don't see folders. And so if you don't have them in the, in the root folder, they, you know, it doesn't, uh, recognize the ROMs you may have on there. But this one, when I first did it, I had, I wasn't sure what kind of file format it could read. So I had all kinds of different stuff on there in different folders and it had, you could see all of them, the ones that had the proper formats, it could read straight off of them. No problem uh, whatsoever. Uh, wish I had better quality to show you um, uh, through HDMI because I'm using a composite cable on a 55 inch 4K TV. And so, uh, you know, I'm sure it doesn't look as good as uh, one would hope, but still, you get the um, you get the gist of it. And you know, every every game you could possibly you know want to load on here, you can. And um, like I said, you can. I mean, the little little GameCube discs are 1.3 gigabytes or something. So in today's terms they're nothing and um, putting them on to an SD card this one I actually started out with a 128 gigabyte SD card uh, but I quickly run out of room and um, so I ended up having to upgrade to a 200 uh, to a 256 SD card and uh, um, I think I've got plenty of room for you know that or any other games I may pick up on eBay or something like that so I, I, I think I should be good going forward in the future. Um, I need to fix that because I've Zelda's on here twice for some reason. Um, I think I got I think I ripped them twice. I, I don't know what happened, but somehow I end, Zelda ended up here twice. Or maybe yeah, there it is because some of them it ripped as Legend. And some of it ripped as the legend, and it's the same games. So I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know how that happened, unless it was just I was in different moods or something from one from one day to the next, and forgot that I ripped them. So anyway. Um, but yeah, say you you know say you find a a game you want to play. Uh, Uh, da, 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 da. I'm trying to look at a game I would remember, but I don't see any of them, to be honest. I have all these games I haven't played in 15 years, or 20 years, or... Let's do, uh... We'll do Paper Mario. Maybe that'll be close enough. So then you bring it up and of course you can load cheats and and and, and whatever else. But if you don't um, you know, you don't know, you just keep on going. Um, yeah, so basically that's why I got the SD card reader so I can patch games um, as I want to. So I don't know if I got any sound. I don't know. Some of these, well, there it goes. Some of these I had problems with, and I, th I, th I think I got all of them out, but. Um, but you can see that it, you know, it plays just like a. Am I the only one that hates 
that when they don't put a QWERTY keyboard on something that, you know, you, yeah, all I do is sit here and go in circles because I don't, I don't, I don't know what the order to go in. But I mean, you, you talk about something awesome that, you know, if you're wanting to, you know, give your give your kids something for, for a, a, a present or something like that, and you want to just give them a a GameCube or an Xbox or whatever else that's got all the games that maybe you you enjoyed or you liked on, um, you know, on in one spot, and you don't want to risk all your discs and you know getting into it and all that stuff, and you don't want to teach them how to use them. Uh, a setup that may um, let them use backup discs, you know, anything like that. So, uh, you know, uh, you never know. In this this setup, you basically just you set it and forget it. As soon as you got the SD card loaded with the proper Swiss OS and and all the games that you could, did you want, I mean, that's it. I mean, there's there's no more there's there's no more doing or anything. So. All right, come on, let's get the gameplay so we can see this. And you can see how how it operates. I just wanted to show the SD card, and at some point, um, I had a I'd actually gotten an Eon uh, reader through a friend uh, that found one at a flea market, and uh, but it was broke. It looked like it had been flooded or something, and they were trying to they were trying to sell it. And uh, it, he, he just got it as part of a lot, so they don't think they didn't make anything off of it. But it was you know, one of those dishonest things. But I was really excited when I got it. But um, alas, the uh, it was not to be. And for the Xbox, I use one of these thirty-dollar pound adapters. Um, and you know, people online lots of times crap on them but i think they're fine i mean they're they're of course not the best thing ever and if i can get a, a slightly better setup for a little bit more money i would do it and i'm sure that'll come but for the time being with just uh um testing stuff and 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 i'm, I'm not really worried Can we please get, how, how long is this prologue? My gosh, let's get to this. I just wanted a game I knew how to, I knew I knew how to play or I felt like I knew how to play. It's a Mario game. I mean, I've, I've never played a play Paper Mario game, so I may be completely wrong in that, but. I mean, if they had Mario 64 on here, I'd have picked that because I've, I've played many hours of that. a save block okay great thank you thank you okay okay so anyway that's um that's where we stand so looks like all the mods we did tonight uh worked and uh, looks like, at least for the time being, um, the GameCube is uh, is set. So I'm going to finish up and put the put the Game Boy Player back on it, and uh, maybe one day do a hardware review of it because 
it's pretty cool because it's basically a Game Boy that's uh, been modified to attach to the uh, GameCube. So that's pretty cool anyway. So uh, that's where we stand right now. I hope this video was uh, helpful even though I'm, it's extremely too long. But um, I'll try to cut it down as much as possible. So uh, until next time, uh, this is Nackology signing off.